Hey guys, Fox Recon here with another um, potential way to help you out. This is a 2017 Ford Interceptor. It's basically an Explorer with a 3.5 liter. Uh, and it has a customer complaint of no power. So um, I will show you what the problem is. You will also probably have codes for a PO299 turbocharger under boost. Uh, you might have, hang on, I got a lot of other stuff on this as well, 420, which would be a catalytic system system efficiency below threshold, that could be uh, in there as well, and then a P141548 engine air filter restriction um, could be another code. But any one of those three, let me show you what the problem is, I'll try to keep this brief. You can verify the concern uh, visually. Uh, basically, it's pretty easy. You have an 8mm here, uh, a sensor here. You don't necessarily have to disconnect, actually. You can leave that connected. You've got uh, a couple of snaps here and there. Get this guy up and out of the way. You actually leave it connected if you want to those hoses. Just gently put it to the side. Um, take your air filter out. Your box here has two 8mm eight eight millimeter bolts. Looks just like this. They hold here and here. And the bottom of this box has uh, some rubber grommets. Uh, kind of fish this thing up and out of the way. Mind the clip over here. Don't tear anything up. Just gently remove it. There is your rubber grommets. If those things are sitting in too. It'll be pretty snug. Set this guy down to the side. I'll grab a flashlight and I will show you guys what the problem is. So this is the um, two the piping for the, the turbos. This one that is here, this plastic one, let me show you. So this is the intake for the turbo. It comes around over here and down and this is the intake. And the intake for the turbo is on the bottom uh, top. It's the top of those two hoses. Um, that plastic one is actually good. That's no problem. The pressurized side on the other side of the turbo, you can see right there, this is next to the transmission. You take your little flashlight and it is, you can kind of see it down in there, I hope. But the, uh, the top of the hose is ripped. There you go. So that little rip down there is what's letting all of the the air escape instead of coming up into this three-way tube and into the inter intercooler on the front of the engine. So um, that's one of several possible places these 3.5s fail. Check all of your connections, um, all of those hose clamps for sure. Um, it can get be a little bit of a challenge to look down in there and see what's, what's, to what's torn. Um, this one actually failed because the transmission fluid uh, got super, super hot. Um, and then came out through the little vent cap that's right here, splashed down on top of that rubber hose, and the rubber hose is the first thing to go, which is the pressurized side, and I will include the part number here in a second for you. Um, but this is the piping for the pressurized side of the front turbo. There is one on the back. You can follow it around to the back, and if you look down in there, you can see there's another little rubber hose. That little rubber hose blows off or breaks as well. Um, go. So down in there, that is the rubber hose with that hose clamp on it. That sometimes breaks, sometimes this plastic breaks. That goes to the back turbo. It's the pressurized side of the back turbo. Um, you can look, to, look at them from underneath to verify, but that is uh, your lack of power concern with those codes. Hopefully that helps somebody. Um, let me give you the number. Right there is the forward part number. It includes this whole thing. It is the the pipe that's ripped, which is this one right here, three-way, that section of rubber hose, and this rubber elbow that's the top. Um, all together is what Ford sells it as, DB5Z-6 Charlie 646-Kilo, um, and I will put that in the bottom. So, hope this helps somebody. Uh, it's worth checking out on your own. It's easy to get to, look at. Um, yeah, keep, uh, keep on wrenching.